Well, hello everyone. My name is Brian Burkhardt. I'm one of the owners and the vice president of Rockaway Inc. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about aftercare. We do a lot of landscaping here in Northeast Florida. You know, once we get it in the ground for you, there's some important things that you have to take into consideration for the aftercare. First thing I want to talk about is watering after installation. Per the St. John's River Water Management District's rules, you are allowed to water new plantings every day for 30 days and every other day for 30 days. What Rockaway has found to be the best schedule is watering every day for about two to three weeks, every other day for another two weeks, three days a week for two to two weeks, and then you're probably good to go back to your normal uh, two days a week, which is typically allowed by law. Um, there are some caveats to that, and your site might depend on that, but that's a rule, good rule of thumb to start, and that's how we'll set your irrigation to get going when we leave your property. The, the biggest caveat with that is when we do install new sod, when it's hot like it is now in the summertime, we will put an afternoon run time, maybe two o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock in the afternoon, for a very short amount of time, which helps that new sod stay wet and get rooted in quicker. What will happen if we don't do that afternoon runtime is you'll have a day or two days or three days where we don't get afternoon showers and that that sod's getting watered in the morning and then it's going you know almost 24 hours in a full day of hot blazing sun and without the roots being you know growing into the soil yet it's going to dry out so we found once we started doing that after noon watering during the summertime we can install sod 12 months a year and that's the only thing that we have to do different. So watering super important. We, of course, will inspect your irrigation system prior to doing the, uh, the landscaping, give you a proposal for what's needed to make sure that those new plants are getting the proper coverage, and then we'll do that work in conjunction with the landscaping, and you should be all set. It's important for the life of the landscape to check your irrigation consistently, once a month, once every two months, just looking for something that can be might be broken or clogged or not working anymore. Usually your irrigation's running in the morning, early morning hours or overnight, and you won't necessarily see those deficiencies or breaks until it presents a problem. So, you know, every once in a while, uh, go through the irrigation system. You can see if there's a problem. Maybe it's something you can handle. Maybe it's something you want to call Rockaway. And if you're not comfortable with your irrigation system, you can always, after we do our work for you, make your landscape beautiful. You can either get signed on for quarterly irrigation inspection, a full maintenance package, or what we call a standalone irrigation inspection and check your system for you. But watering is, is super important. And typically we set our zones 15 to 20 minutes for spray zones and 45 to 60 minutes for rotor zones and drip zones. 